Hey, what is going on guys? It's the most underrated PC building YouTube channel here, back again with more content. And oh my gosh, this PC is one of the best looking systems I have built for just under $450 USD. So without any further delay, cue the intro and let's get to the video. Before I start the video, this video is sponsored by the subscribe button. So click on that subscribe button right now so I could create more videos like this in the future. Now let's get to the video. What I got here is an all white and blue themed gaming PC. I admit it doesn't look as good as I thought in my head, but regardless, it is still a pretty good looking system for the price. Anyways, let's get to the parts that make up this system. For the CPU, motherboard, and RAM, I bought the Xeon combo off of AliExpress for just $195 shipped to my house. The combo includes a 10 core and 20 threaded Xeon E5 2650V3, which sadly is only locked at 2.3 GHz with a max turbo of 3.0 GHz. The combo also came with this Machinist or Jinyue, depending on when you order it, all white X99 motherboard, which in my opinion looks really, really nice. And I think there should be more motherboards with the white color scheme. What is also included with the combo is two sticks of 8GB of DDR4 ECC memory clocked at 2133MHz, which at that speed is absolutely fine for the Intel CPUs. And from my own research, this CPU is based off of the 4th generation Intel CPUs, so gaming performance should be still pretty decent. To cool the CPU, since it is so low clock, it means that it consumes very little power, which is how I was able to use the Sama Ice Storm 125 cooler, which is 2 copper heat pipe 120mm blue LED cooler, and I was able to buy it off AliExpress for just $16, but at the time of editing, it seems like the price went up, but for around $20, this cooler is an insane deal, as the build quality in my opinion is pretty decent for the price, and it was able to cool the E5 2650V3 pretty well. The storage choices I went with today's build is pretty standard on my channel, which is 128GB SSD, in today's case is an NVMe SSD which costed me $25 on AliExpress, and a 2TB hard drive which I was able to get for just $20 off of Facebook Marketplace. With the 128GB NVMe, Windows 10 and Program Store on it will have lightning fast load times, and because I chose a 2TB hard drive for today's build, whoever buys this system is going to be able to store some storage heavy games. Like in Mom lol XD don't cancel me Now for the GPU, I decided to go with the GTX 970, specifically this MSI GTX 970 OC 4GB White Edition, which I was able to snatch it up for just $200 off of Facebook Marketplace. And I gotta say, with the black and white design, this GPU fit the build perfectly. One of the reasons I went with this GTX 970 is that I have no idea how capable the CPU is, and the GTX 970 is a mid-range GPU that works very well with a lot of lower end CPUs, but you will see at the end of the benchmarks, I was blown away by the performance of this little, well actually pretty big Xeon CPU. For the power supply, I was able to get the ZVGA 600BQ80 Plus Bronze Semi Modular Unit for just $30 on Facebook Marketplace. There's nothing more I can say about this other than it will support more powerful GPUs up to like a RTX 3070 and that EVGA is a good PSU company. Now for the case, I went with the white version of the Deepcool McCube 110 MATX case. And this case is one of my absolute favorite go-to case when I want to build a white themed gaming PC. I was able to pick this up at Canada Computers for just $50 while it was on sale a couple of months ago. Since this case doesn't come with any RGB or LED lighting, I put this pack of 3 blue LED fans from up here which I was able to get from Amazon for just $25. I didn't go with RGB fans because like I said in the beginning, I wanted the whole build to be white and blue only. Which is why I also snagged this kit of dark blue custom cable extensions off AliExpress for just $30 and wow the build quality of these cable mods feels amazing but I gotta add that they are pretty hard to bend and work around with. Other than that I think it is a great buy and it is cheaper than any I can find on Amazon.ca. Now with the parts list out of the way here's a quick tally for today's build and let's get to the time lapse.
Honestly, this build was one of the most exciting builds I ever done on this channel before. Sure, the aesthetic came out not as good as I thought, but for just under 450 USD, it's one of the best priced to performance gaming slash streaming PC. And after the gaming results of this PC, I can say that for the amount of cores and threads you get for your dollar, it is definitely way more worth to get the Xeon combo than any first or second gen Ryzen combo unless you get them for a really good deal. And I can confidently say that this CPU will be able to handle a more powerful graphics card like the latest and greatest, although not really that new anymore, but it is beginning to be more in stock, RTX 3060. Now, with all that being said, if you like the video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you didn't, do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because it will help me out a lot. Have a nice day. Bye.